what's up guys? My name is AJ. I go by Photo Runner on Instagram. This is my 2020 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon and we're here to show you the second part of a two-part series video. The first part was the external mods that we've made to the Jeep in the last few months. If you want, click here or so somewhere in the window to click on that video and watch it. But this one's going to show you all the mods that we've made inside the Jeep over the last few months. So stick around and enjoy the video. So I've got my Jeep set up pretty well inside here. It's more organized than anything. I like to have a place for all the tools I guess I use while I'm on the road. So starting over here on my left side, I've got a holder here. This is Carolina Metal Masters and a 67 Designs holder for my Garmin InReach Mini. This tool right here is really cool just because I can stay connected to my wife um, and like a camp area that doesn't necessarily have a bunch of I guess cellular service. So the InReach Mini is a really cool tool that I use um, to stay connected to the loved ones or my wife at camp. Um, as you swing over here to the right, I've got a cell phone holder. Obviously we all have cell phones, but um, it's hooked up to the 67 Designs rail as well. It's a Series 55 rail. So you can hook up a bunch of different, I guess you could say items to your liking. So GoPro, your cell phone. I've got my cell phone and the radio um, hooked up to it. So the next thing I have is my 2730 ICOM. Um, this is my ham radio. A GMRS or ham radio is how I have it set up. Uh, along with that is I've got my handheld. I like this a lot just because I used to run the handheld radios a lot. This is just so much easier because I don't have to worry about charging anything. So I keep a handheld in the back just for emergency purposes or if I'm like scouting a trail and need to talk back to people. But having a hardware radio has changed so much for me. So definitely love this setup. Check it out, ICOM 2730 if you're interested in that. Um, coming down to my passenger side, I use an iPad mini. Um, so I've got another, it's a RAM mount. Um, holding the iPad together and then of course on a 67 designs arm to another Carolina Metal Masters um, Ball mount that goes into the Wrangler grab bar, which I thought was a really really cool spot One thing I love about the Jeep is that there's so many places to put all of your items and organize it like really good uh, Down below factory options on the Rubicon. You've got the front and rear locker. We love that I mentioned that in the first video I did about you know, just having the Jeep and why we got it um, If you want to check that video out, we'll post another link to it up here in the corner um, And it goes over all of the factory options that I went through uh, Another reason why I got the auxiliary switches here is that it runs the Baja LP9s that we had hooked up to this um, And a couple other lights like my rock lights underneath my LP9s and the backlighting on those LP9s So having these auxiliary switches from the factory was a super rad option to have along with the disconnect sway bar which is really cool um, as you come back on the passenger seat i do have my trash bag from blue ridge overland it's a very small trash bag and i love it because i can throw little things away like you know just anything that i'm on the road or you're snacking on something and you just want to have a trash bag instead of throwing it on your floorboard um, it's cool to have this bag plus there's some pockets up front so i have some hand sanitizer a couple masks some locks for my bike Little things like that are just really, really cool and convenient to have um, when you need them. So again, the front end's not too crazy, but it's really cool because everything has a spot and I really, really like that and it's just nicely organized. So let's hop back into the middle of the Jeep and show you what we've done there. This is where it gets fun. So in the back here, we've actually taken out our seat and we've installed a 60% seat delete by Goose Gear. The cool part about this is that when it's totally flat and you take out the drawer system, which we'll show you here in a second, you can use it as a sleeping platform. But since I have it set up the way I do now, it's rad because I have these two compartments here that they have and you can store a ton of stuff underneath the platform. So from air tools to straps to whatever you think you can fit back here, it's gonna fit. Awesome thing about that too, is that it stays pretty well tight in there so it doesn't rattle around or move or anything like that. On the other side, I've got obviously all my tools, I've got hammers, gloves, things that are easily accessible out of this door that I can grab really, really quick. And again, it stays organized and pretty quiet as you're off-roading. So definitely a sweet setup that I've got back here. 
Above me, you've got the Blue Ridge Overland Attic. This is another key tool, I guess you could say, that I use because for some reason, I travel with like eight different jackets and they're all up here. So I throw my jackets up here. I've got blankets up here. Uh, another cool little piece about this attic is that if you do have a wet jacket, you can hang it from these little straps right here and just kind of let the jacket like drip dry. So it's a pretty sweet little system. Um, and that's about it. I mean, I've got the car seat in here for Ollie. But yeah, let's, uh, let's head to the back of the Jeep and it gets super, super interesting back there. So as you can see, as I open up the back of the Jeep, it's very organized. Again, I've mentioned that multiple times in this video. I don't think I've ever had a more organized vehicle until I've gotten this system or had the Jeep and just kind of just put it together this way. Everything else I've had like in the 4Runner or in the Dodge or in the Ram, it was just kind of like things everywhere, like just things just totally unorganized where this is put together. One of the first things I'll start with, I'll show you guys real quick, is the Goose Gear table. The cool thing about this table, unlike anything on the market, is that you can use it with one hand um, and it comes down. It's super simple. So if you were to have a camera or anything in your hands that you're wanting to use a table and you're kind of tied up, you can bring the table down with just one hand. It's super, super easy. These latches are rad and there it goes. Another cool thing that you notice about the table is that there are no cables. So I broke multiple cables on other tables that I've had and I'm just glad that that's not there or those cables were rattling in between. So they, they really knocked it out of the park with this table and I freaking love it. I think it's awesome. Underneath you've got, you know, the bamboo uh, tray that slides out. So you have more places to put either gas or fuel or maybe a cutting board for like vegetables, things like that. Um, it also slides out on this side and it's just a really, really cool piece. I really like it a lot. When you step to the back here, you'll see I've got two drawers. They're both different sizes. This is a shorter drawer. This is a much taller drawer. I'll open them up here in a second. And then on this side, this is basically called their camp kitchen. You've got a tray or a fridge slide here. You can put a CFX 335 and a CFX 345. Um, either one of them will fit. The 35 is going to be much shorter. This is the 45 um, and it fits in there like really, really well. And then on the bottom underneath um, the fridge, you've got an area for a stove. So you can fit anywhere up to a 22 inch stove, depending on which stove it is, all the way down to what I have down here is a nine inch stove. Another cool thing that I have back here is gonna be the power tank. I've added that. Uh, this allows us to inflate our tires or if I need to dust off any camera equipment, it's very, very convenient and has a lot of power. So I love having the power tank back here. Um, and then on top of the Goose Gear stuff, I can put other units Basically like say powering the fridge, I've got my either Goal Zero 1500 or I've got my Goal Zero 500 and I can charge all my camera equipment, I can run the fridge, depending on how long my trips are, will actually just, you know, depend on which unit I bring with me. On the side of the camp kitchen is like this moly, like kind of cool little place you can like attach things. I do have this little Goal Zero Sherpa here um, that I like just because it's like a quick access to charging like either a phone or like a Garmin or anything like that, I can plug it in and it's always there. I know that I'll always have power or a way to recharge things um, at night or if I'm cooking or anything like that. Um, on top of that is gonna be our two uh, Step 22 bags. In the back one, I have some tools in there and some like miscellaneous items. And this front one right here holds all of our soft foods. Aside from the Goose Gear system that we have back here, I did install a couple Baja dome lights, which is really, really rad because these are super useful. You don't have a headlight on or a headlamp on and you just need light real quick. So by pressing the dome light, you can turn it on or off just by a push of the button. This shoots the yellow light out on the ground. So it's giving me light over the table, things like that. And then I've also got one that shoots red light into the interior. So when I'm going through the drawers, I can see what I'm doing or if I'm going in the fridge or things like that. So super, super useful um, and I love them. And it's definitely very, very clean, looks factory and I love it. So let's jump into the drawers and I'll show you guys what we have in there. So by opening this up, the first thing you can see is we've installed a custom Trek pack system. I cut this down myself. I ordered one online that was similar to the dimensions that I measured inside the drawer and just made it myself. So although there's not a part number for this, if you end up getting a Goose Gear system, just look at Trek pack site and just measure and get the best you can. The cool thing about that is it's compartmentalized everything inside of here. So up front, we've got all of our spices, salt, pepper, things like that. 
On this side, I'm actually utilizing a goose gear um, wooden little tray that's supposed to go down here in the camp kitchen, depending on which stove I use. But it also works as a utensils dispenser, or not dispenser, but holder, things like that. The next one is gonna be bowls, plates. Um, I've got some soap in here. I've got all of my cups, things like that, mugs for coffee. In the back, I've actually got my coffee and my, um, my uh, what is it, my coffee maker, I should say. So, um, and then on the other side, I've got sponges, things like that, uh, more sponges, it looks like. And yeah, it's just a really, really cool drawer to keep this type of thing organized. Second drawer. Ooh, that closes so good. Listen to this. Oh, so good. And ha, they're lockable, so that's really cool. And that'll get into the second drawer, okay? So second drawer is kind of like more of a utility box. I keep some things in here that I can lock up if I'm on a trip and I need to actually lock some things up, maybe a camera, some other things that you might want to keep away from children and that type of thing. But currently I've got like paper towels, I've got my extra ham radio in here, I've got a battery charger, um, tape measure, I have my speakers in here for like if you wanna listen to some music here in the car or while at camp. I've got a bunch of like cables, things like that. I do have my water kettle in here. Um, I don't really carry a jet boil anymore just because my stove, I, I use my stove like religiously now and I don't really carry the jet boil. If I do have the jet boil, it's just for backup and that's under the compartments up front. On the other side, I've got flashlight, more straps, couple more cups. In the back side here, I've just got more cables, some other things, band-aids, first aid kit, things like that. Um, and that's it. So this drawer just holds basically everything that I need for miscellaneous items. And it's not much, like I've learned to really cut down on what I bring with me. On this side, like I said, this is the camp kitchen. Let me pull out the stove. So this comes out, and again, depending on what you're using, um, I'm using a nine inch Cook Partner stove, which is super rad. I've got the gas coming out on this side, so I can put my container for gas there, and I can literally just kind of pop this guy open and use it as a stove on the outside. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. It's really cool how this works and it's just convenient again. In here, I've got like my lighter, napkin. I've got some wipes here to wipe things down real quick. I've got my headlamp. Again, it's convenient and it's like, it's just right here. Um, lighters to start the stove. Everything's just available and I love that. Gloves for when it's kind of cold outside. Um, and then up here on my Dometic, um, fridge case, I've got like a bottle opener or a wrench or a knife or some scissors, stuff that I've learned that like, hey, I kind of need these things available to me quickly and that's where they go. So you just kind of plug this guy, actually, let me show you this real quick. This comes all the way out. So this will come all the way out so you can access the fridge and pop it this way and get whatever you need. So it's a cool little system, I love it. It works so good and it it's, it's silly to say, but it makes, the experience just like better considering what I do. And you know, when I have a kid out and like, you just don't have to worry about things. You know that you're loaded and you're ready to go. You can go take off at any time. I do travel this way daily. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much good to go. So if I'm going on a camp trip, I don't have to worry about, oh, did I pack that better than this? No, 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 it's already there and I love it. And that's why the organization on this and the drawers, everything is just so key to me. All right, so that wraps up the back end of the Jeep and also all the interior mods that we've made. Um, if you wanna see the exterior of the Jeep and the mods that we did to that, go ahead and hit the button up here. That'll take you straight to that video. Also, if you like this video, you know what to do, hit the like button, we'd love that. And if you wanna see me again and hang out, hit the subscribe button as well as that bell and we'll see each other soon, I hope. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. But part one was our exterior uh, Jeep walk around. So you can see everything that we've done in the last few months on the exterior. <laughs> exterior? <laughs> exterior? <laughs> you can see your thumb? Okay. That's cheesy as Did I miss anything? No. Totally feel great about this. Or <laughs> just, you know, <laughs> watch some YouTube. Um, <laughs> go back. Should we just no? It's, it, what is it? What's happening? Yeah. What did we say we we're gonna do? What was it? Inside the car. Oh, you're a robot. <laughs> There's so much trash out here. Yes. Yeah.
Yeah! This is the fun part. You guys ready? Here we go. I don't know if I like that. That was really cheesy. <laughs> We're contemplating on whether or not to keep going because there's a dirt bike possibly coming this way. They're definitely coming this way. Bye. See you later. Thanks for coming by. <laughs>